Hi, so I'm now just going to show you finishing off my compote. Um, it does splash sometimes, I'm just going to put my apron on. Uh, you don't really want to get splattered by any of this stuff. Um, so, this has been bubbling now for maybe just like 10-15 minutes and for a compote you just need, really need to dissolve the sugar and bring the jars up to temperature and then it's ready. Now if you're going to pop it in a jar, it'll last maybe five days in the fridge. Um, but if you want to keep it longer, uh, let it cool down in the pan and then pop it into a um, freezeable container um, and you can freeze it. It's absolutely brilliant. So anything longer than five days, just pop it in the freezer. Um, I'm going to use mine in the next couple of days over the weekend. Um, so I'm just going to pop it into the jar that I've already put in the oven that's on 100 degrees. Um, uh, if it was jam, you'd take a lot longer. It's, um, it takes longer for the jam to set and for the sugars to dissolve. Um, it'll vary based on different jams, different fruits. But one way to test how jam, um, if jam is set is you put a little side plate in the freezer. I would say jam, soft fruit jam can take maybe, maybe 20 minutes, can take 40 minutes um, to get to that setting point. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't set, it's just be runny jam. But anyway, you pop a little side plate in the freezer. Let it get cold. And then when it's really cold, you're gonna see how the jam's gonna be setting as you put it on. So obviously this is boiling hot jam, it's still bubbling there. And if this was, this is obviously a compote, it hasn't got that much sugar, so it's going to just run all over the place like that. So good job I put an apron on and it's boiling hot. Um, but if it was jam, it's cooled down now because this plate is freezing. And you just sit on the plate for a minute and then as you run your finger through it, it would leave it sort of, it would start to set as jam. And you're able to tell it's jam and it's set. Whereas this is obviously the compote. So it's uh, quite sharp, but delicious. If I wanted to, I could have put vanilla in there, I could have put a cinnamon stick in there, I could have brought out some different flavours, but I've just made it as is. Boiling hot. Where are my oven gloves? Oven gloves. So my jar is in the um, oven. It's up to 100 degrees. I've brought both of them here. There they are. I'll put them on a rack because it's absolutely boiling. It's not too hot because, as I say, 100 degrees, but you don't want it cracking when it goes in. And as I say, I've just boiled that compote. If you want it thicker and you think, oh, I don't want it that runny, then just boil it for a bit longer. It just reduces and evaporates the liquid. Um, but as I say, I'm just going to keep it as it is. I'm turning the gas off or the electric or the heat off. And I'm going to carefully be careful. This splashes, it's going to boil. It's absolutely boiling. So don't do this with young kids around. Um, and be prepared and maybe have a washing up bowl of freezing water so if it splashes on your hand um, to put your hand straight in it. So there we have it. This is hot, I'm not going to touch it. Um, once this is cooled down a little bit, because it's a compote and you're using it quite quickly in the next five days, um, once the jar's cooled down enough you can put the seal back on and you can close it. If you'd put it into this jar, you can put the lid on straight away and as it cools down you'll, the suction, uh, the air will condense um, and it'll suck in and seal that uh, seal that jar up. But there we have it. I'll show you this beautiful, beautiful berry compote. And as I say, you can use all sorts: black currants, raspberries, strawberries, plums, anything like that. And it's perfect and ready to spoon on all your uh, all your creations. Or just eat it as it is. It's quite sharp, but I love it on the cereal. I'm about to have breakfast now. I'm about to spoon some on my cereal when it cools down, of course. Bye. That's it.